this might be the most hype battle that you guys have ever requested. There have only been two people who have been three-time world champions, and they brought them together to just do this exhibition, endless battle, to see who we think would win. This is Hong Ten whoa, from Korea. He won in 2006, seven years later in 2013, and then 10 years later, when he was 39 years old in 2023. He's going up against, on the left, Menno, who won in 2014, 2017, and 2019. I've covered both of them. Menno is considered the ultimate flow b-boy, just an endless arsenal of moves. And once he gets started, he just never stops. That's why he's a three-time world champ. Wow. Wow. He hit that right on B. He went from his back to one arm to a handstand with the music. Wow. <laughs> the way he goes from low to high, from side to side, I can't understate it. I can't overstate it enough. His flow is immaculate. Both of these b-boys, they were three-time world champs because it feels like they have an endless repertoire of signature moves. And their stamina is crazy. Now Hong Ten has done two very notable versions of this endless style battle before. That's why they always bring him back because they know he can take it. He did it against Phil Wizard, who's actually back there right now in the pink cap. I've covered that battle before. They went like 19 rounds, I want to say, or I think it might be 19 rounds. And then he went 30 rounds with Hurricane at one point. So Meno has an endless uh, repertoire of moves as well, but in terms of just like going an absurd amount of rounds, he's definitely built for it, but like not, I, mean, I feel like that's Hong Tem's specialty. So let's see if he can keep up. Wow, he's bringing it. He's not saving his energy at all, and that, that shows a lot. You gotta respect it. Man, the music is hype. Flexibility, wow. Ah, dang, the change of direction. From like a bridge, sweeping your legs around and then coming down to your head and then back up again. It's, it's really hard to even imagine how difficult that is. This is round three. Normally, B-boys would get tired as early as this, but I think they're going to go much longer. I'm curious to see if Menno can keep up his pace. Mm -hmm. Wow. Sweeping his legs around, grabbing his foot as he goes down to his back, comes back up to the same position again. Such smart combos, man. I really wonder if there will ever be another three-time world champion. Bam! Wow! Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Ba ba ba! Ugh! The control and foresight to be able to hear a song. Oh man! Oh, what the heck? What a cool freeze! Hmm. 
Mm -hmm, okay. Menno's still keeping pace. In all these battles I've seen, they usually seem to get tired around like round four or five, which is natural, but then they usually get like a second wind. Whoa. Dope reverse head spin. Reverse direction. Menno's talked about his training regimen where he'll kind of just put himself in a strange position on his back and practice like eight different ways of getting out of it so that in the battle, no matter what position he's in, he has a signature move to chain with it. Hong Ten's smart. In all of these endless battles, he always brings like multiple changes of shirt. So... He was never like sweaty for too long. <laughs> wow. When was this? Oh, this was this year. So Hong Ten is 39 here. That's insane. Whoa! Dang! Whoa! Yeah, you cannot underestimate any three-time world champ. Both of them are keeping their pace and their energy. And they're not cutting their rounds very short. Like any other b-boy would be completely gassed at this point. So much energy. Whoa. A double halo without his hands and just kind of taps with his elbow. Mm. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, on the music, that level of flexibility. Oh. Foot behind the arm. It's too good. Any other b-boy would be just like really intimidated by that, but Menno doesn't look phased. He's just here to do his thing. Ah, so cool. Reverse direction. Wow. He fell out of it a little bit, that's fine. Menno's like, his moves, people like to mock him because it looks like he's just rolling around the ground. You try lying down and then like getting up without touching the ground with your hand and spinning, landing on your back again and doing that in a circle in a smooth way. Oh my God, it's impossible. Ooh, dope reverse of direction. bring himself back up like he usually does. Nice. Man, he, he could totally stop there. That was a full round, but he keeps going. I've lost track of which round this is, like round seven or something. What's so intimidating about Hong Ten in these events is you know that he's done like 30 rounds before. So as you're trying to catch your breath, you're like, this guy's not even like a fourth of the way to gas. Wow. Wow. Just to move around the floor like that. So much control, even when he's tired. 
his just control and his his experience shines through. He stays calm and collected and just pulls from his rep repertoire of moves. They both have an infinite amount of moves, but Hong Ten's energy is just like unparalleled right now. What the heck? Bam! Ah. Mm hmm. Whoa, Menno's faster all of a sudden. Second wind? Whoa. Rounds are getting a little shorter, but that's natural. Better to have short and to the point rounds if you're getting tired than uh, longer rounds that drag on. Wonder why Hong Ten put on a new shirt. Maybe he's gonna do like backspins. He has a backspin to a head stand where he threads through. If I had to put my money on anything, I bet he's gonna do that move. Eh, maybe not. Wow! <laughs> Crazy. Whoa, there's boomerangs. To this day, I have not seen a single other person do that move, but I don't know why I just like, don't associate that as his signature move. But I don't think anyone else does it. Let me know in the comments if you know anyone else. Man, I'm still bringing it, man. I feel like battling Hong Ten in this format is such an honor because it really just like pushes you. Because who else could push Menno, undeniably one of the best b-boys in the world. Like, Menno would just like be like, okay, the battle's done. But he's like, no, I, I gotta keep going, because I gotta match pace with this guy. <sighs> so fast. Still. Two fingers. He's gonna hop over on those two fingers and land in a handstand. Insane. Why did Hongten put on the the shirt? He hasn't done anything on his on his back that would require it. <laughs> I was gonna say, kind of wild for Menno to be wearing long sleeves, but I think I saw some like. Whoa! Some cold air coming out from there. Uh, when they when they when they took a breath, so maybe it's cold out there. Wow! Straight leg, straight leg head spins are so hard because normally you have your legs out to help balance and pick up momentum. So to just do it like as a pencil, insane! Wow! So much respect. Thanks again for requesting this. I had such a great time. If you have any other battle requests, please let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and watch another video. Helps me out a lot. I'll see you guys in the next battle. Bye.